Uh, hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this uh, Grasshopper short tutorial, I want to show you how you can use this advanced sweep cluster uh, I have developed in Grasshopper and I'm also going to explain the algorithm, uh, how it's going to work. Uh, as you can see here, let's just turn off everything and start with the rail. So assume that you have uh, a curve on the ground, which is going to be the rail. Uh, we can draw anything here. Uh, on the XY plane. Obviously, I'm going to make this in the same line as the start and just right click here and set this to the curve. Uh, as you can see here, this uh, simple cluster is going to put it in a XZ plane and also we can give it a scale. So maybe we want to make it bigger or smaller with this cluster. The next uh, part is the advanced sweep component. So what we have to do here is to give this as the rail input for the advanced sweep and the section I've just uh, given four different sections for example here. If I just turn them on you can see that we have a uh, closed curve, uh, open uh, polyline uh, or a closed polyline. You can use any of that. So if I just select one of them and give it as the section. So if I turn this on, you can see it's going to uh, put my section at the start of this. Uh, for the section point, there is a start and the end. So for example, if zero is going to be the start of the curve and one is going to go to the end, and this is going to be the location of this profile uh, for the sweeping. Uh, before I go forward, we can give that to the sweep command to make a sweep and let's just turn on the preview and if it's closed you can give also cap hole so for example if I give a circle to that uh, you can use this cap hole to make it a solid obviously if you want to make it into a solid but anyway uh, let's go back and give the same section here for example. So this number is going to move it on the section. We draw them all on the ground so it's really easy to use. Then there is a radius. Uh, the radius is actually uh, a circle uh, making at the start of the curve, uh, profile curve. So here you can see that if I just uh, increase that the circle is going to be bigger and smaller. So that's going to help us to have even more control. The circle point is where on the circle we want to put the section. So this also gives you more control over the uh, sweep. So that's also possible. And there is also another thing which is a rotation. So I can also add a rotation to my section. And obviously this is going to also update my final results. Uh, a scale is also a good thing. We can scale the section to see exactly what we want. And then also there's a, a, a flip for X and Y. So for example, here, if I zoom in, uh, we can flip the X direction and the Y direction with these true falses. Okay, so this is also possible. And that is going to give you uh, all of the uh, control you want on any section on any profile. Uh, let me turn this off. Uh, the first part is the rail. Uh, this small cluster is going to help you to just put it on the X, uh, Z plane. It's really easy. Uh, let's go to the cluster. Assume that this is the curve. Uh, so the algorithm works like this. This is the profile curve. And what we want to do is to orient it uh, on the XZ plane. You can change that if you want to. Anyway, this is the goal. Let me go to full name so you can see the inputs. The target plane is an XZ plane. Obviously, if we want to put it in, in another plane, you can change that. Uh, to make the source plane, uh, what I have done here, you can use another logic if you want to, but I've used the mid of the profile and then I have projected on the start uh, plane. So I have made a start, uh, extracted a start point, again used an XZ plane to make this plane and then I can project this point here. So that is going to be the point we're going to use to orient it. You can use any other logic if you want to, but I found this useful. Okay, after we project that on the XC plane, uh, this point is going to be used because we give the point to the source plane. It's going to assume that this is an XY plane and it's going to use this as the 
uh, orientation plane and then we just orient it in the XZ plane and scale that at the center which is going to be the same uh, plane so if I just go back here uh, you can see that we can easily put this in XZ plane if we want to get started the next part is the advanced sweep 